let's touch base uh, with uh, Chola Mandalam Investments and Finance. Uh, Mr. Vilayan Subaya, uh, MD of the company, joins in with a quick analysis of their earnings. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Vilayan, for taking out the time to speak with us. Uh, congratulations on a strong set of numbers. Your profit growth has been nearly 31% in a very tough environment. What have been the key drivers for growth? Yeah, so thanks a lot. I think it's been a good quarter for us. Uh, you know, we're cautious, cautiously optimistic about the future as well. Uh, you know, two or three reasons for the profit growth. You know, first, in the vehicle finance business, we're seeing very strong growth in disbursements. Heavy commercial vehicles have picked up well. Uh, we're also seeing a lift in light commercial vehicles, which are up 14%, so we're quite encouraged by that. Uh, and we're also seeing a lot of demand in the used business, and that's very encouraging for us as well. So overall, I'd, I'd say disbursement growth picking up there has been a very, very strong sign. The second thing that's happening for us that we're very encouraged about is that we're beginning to see marginal improvements in GNPA. Still marginal at, at this stage, but the encouraging sign is that if we can bring those numbers down, we, we think that's going to be very strong for future quarters as well. Another big driver for us on the, on the profit numbers has been, uh, you know, expansions in NIM, which have predominantly been driven by a reduction in cost of funds uh, and some increases on the income side as well. But on the cost of funds front, uh, you know, what we're really seeing from our end is that, uh, you know, a combination, we're seeing the, the effect of all of the base rate reductions coming in uh, and we've been shifting to market borrowing, so that's been very promising as well. So overall, a great quarter, and uh, you know, as as I said, we're cautiously optimistic, looking forward as well. Now, you did mention about margin expansion due to reduction in cost of funds. However, what has happened to yields during the quarter, and can you sustain such margin performance? That's a that's a great question. So first off, Q3 margins are about 8.7 percent, and uh, so that's uh, been fairly strong for us. Um, you know, to your point as to, you know, what's causing, you know, yields holding, uh, that's quite different for both our businesses. On the vehicle finance side, we are seeing yields hold. Uh, we're seeing slight drops, uh, but not significant drops on the vehicle finance side. Uh, the home equity side, though, uh, is seeing a lot of pressure on the pricing end. Uh, so, you know, we continue to kind of, uh, you know, be careful in that market, but we are seeing some yield pressure on that end. Uh, overall, from a book perspective, we've seen a slight yield hit, but that's been more than compensated for uh, by the other two factors I discussed earlier. Okay, I'll have to interrupt you there uh, for a bit as there's uh, another warning letter that's come in uh, and, you know, the pharmaceutical sector is again in focus. Ipka Labs this time, the stock is tanked 13%, 14% nearly. Gets warning letter from US FDA for Ratlam, uh, SEZ Indore uh, and Piparia Manufacturing.